Hi, I'm Nelson from Dundas. This video tutorial is just one of the videos that we'll be producing to help you understand the features and benefits of Dundas Dashboard. In this video, I'll be taking you through the Dundas Dashboard interface and I'll be showing you some of the main areas on the screen. I hope you enjoy it. Once you log on to the Dundas Dashboard application, the first screen you will see is the home screen, which has been divided into three main areas. The bar that spans the top of the screen is called the toolbar, the area to the left is called the sidebar, and the main section in the middle is called the content pane. On the left side of the toolbar you'll find some general navigation functions, which look a lot like a web browser. On the right side of the toolbar, you'll find buttons that change according to what's being displayed in the content pane. You'll see more of this later. You can click on the Help button at any time to visit the support.dundas.com website, which will give you access to support articles, documentation, and links to more of these dashboard video tutorials, which we'll be expanding on over the next few months. You can also click on the My Profile button, which will take you to your profile details. You can find your username, account details, and what kinds of application privileges are being applied here. If you want, you can also change your password here. Now, to return to the home screen, you have several options. You can click back to go backward, and forward of course to go forward again, and you can click on the home button at any time to go back to the home screen. In our years of building dashboards at Dundas, we found that these initiatives are usually highly collaborative and involve a diverse range of business and technical skills. As a result, in the sidebar and in the content pane, we've listed out tasks that have been grouped together according to their various job roles. This allows you to put the right person on the right job and, of course, to get dashboards up and running faster. To give you some examples, a database administrator could focus simply on the data consolidation process, which is about connecting to your organization's various data sources and consolidating them on virtual tables. These virtual tables allow the database administrator to customize, organize, and prepare data for use in developing an unlimited number of KPIs. A business analyst could then take these virtual tables and work on defining and creating KPIs measure values, and dimensions. This prevents them from having to work with the underlying data sources directly and thus enables them to concentrate specifically on the KPIs themselves. Lastly, a dashboard designer can work on creating intuitive, powerful, and effective dashboards that will give end users the information they need to see at a glance. This modular approach to dashboard design changes how these projects are implemented in a profound way by allowing each of the participants to collaborate and specialize in their respective areas of expertise. At the top of the sidebar, you'll find a drop-down menu. This will allow you to view and edit existing projects or to create new ones. All of the work within Dundas Dashboard is done within the context of a project. This allows you to group information according to the different areas within your organization. For example, you may want to give some users access to sales dashboards and then some other users access to operations dashboards. It would then be useful to create a sales project and then an operations project. If you look at the bottom of the sidebar, you'll notice that it's organized into different application areas. The Design Explorer area contains a list of all the functional tasks associated with creating a dashboard, creating data connectors, virtual tables, dimensions, KPIs, and dashboards. You can hover over any of the objects in the sidebar to find our context menu, which will allow you to open, edit, view, copy, paste, or view the properties of an object, depending on what type it is. The Bookmarks area contains a list of dashboards that you may have bookmarked for easy access and the administration area allows you to manage user accounts, security groups, projects, and measurement units. You can alter the width of the sidebar by clicking on the border between the sidebar and the content pane and dragging it to resize it. There's also a pin icon at the top left of the sidebar that will allow you to collapse it. This will increase the viewing space within the content pane and might be particularly useful when you're viewing and designing dashboards. Each of the application areas are now represented by icons that you can hover over with your mouse to access. We have Bookmarks, Administration, and the Design Explorer. 
If you want to return the sidebar to its original state, simply click on the pin again. That concludes this video tutorial. Don't forget to click on this screen's links to access additional tutorials, our online demo, or to download a full evaluation copy, all available on www.dundas.com. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy Dundas Dashboard.